Hey guys, Waladeo. Hmm. After Sunday, Bobo said the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, will die mysteriously. See what happens to the ex president's leg that got Nigerians talking, and this is really worrisome. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please subscribe. Subscribe now. Please, I beg. Subscribe to this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. Concerns are being raised about the ex-president Muhammad Buhari's health. Shortly after the famous Yoruba nation activist Sunday Bowu said he will die mysteriously. While reacting to a recent photograph of Buhari on Sunday, netizens drew attention to the legs of the former president, which they said do not speak well of his health as it's swollen. The recent photo was shot when Alahaji Aminu Abelo Ma, Bello Masa, Masari the ex governor of Castina State paid a visit to the former president at his home in Daura. Jackson Obasan Joseph. Buari's leg has swollen. Can it be linked to Sunday Ibuwu's recent statement? Thinking out loud, why is Buari's leg looking swollen? I hope he's well. Ibowu also said the former president sent the operatives of the Department of the State Service, the DSS, and soldiers to assassinate him in, the, in his house. The activist who spoke in Yoruba said, Nigerians from the southwest region must come together to free the region from armed Fulan, Fulani headers, and that Buari will die mysteriously with his children. Buari caused problems in my life. They killed my siblings, he killed my friends, and he also killed my mother. Ibo said, he will die mysteriously with the children, with his children. Buari is Fulani. It is we Yoruba people that should be careful, he added. Record that in 2021, Nigerian secret police, the state's the security service SSS confirmed that its operatives stormed the home of Ibo in Ibadan in a bid to effect his arrest. Addressing journalists at the headquarters of the SSS, Peter Afunanya, the service spokesperson, said 13 suspects, including female and 12 males, were arrested. Premier Times reported how gunmen invaded Mr. Ibo's house, located in Soka Ibadan, a capital of Oyo State, around 1 a.m. on a Thursday. His vehicles, including his G Wagon, Prado Jeep, and some valuable properties, including furniture and windows, were reportedly destroyed. So, guys, when I don't hear it now, how not this matter? In a shocking revelation, Sunday Boo, the Yoruba activist, has accused the former president, Muhammad Buhari, of killing his mother, his siblings, and his friends. He also claimed that Buhari attempted to assassinate him in his house with the help of the DSS and soldiers. Igbo made these allegations during a visit to the palace of the monarch of Igbo town in Oyo State where he urged the people of the southwest region to unite against the Fulani Hesmen. Igbe who, who spoke in Yoruba said that Buari was responsible for the death of his loved ones and that he would die mysteriously with his children. He said Buari caused problems so in my life. Oh, he killed my sibling. He killed my friend. And he also killed my mother. He will die mysteriously with his children. 
Bwari is Fulani. It is we Yoruba people that should be careful. He added that Bwari sent his soldiers so, and DSS to arrest him in his house because he demanded freedom for the Yoruba people from the Fulani oppression. He said Bwari sent his soldiers and DSS to arrest me in my household because I said the Yorubas are not slaves to Fulanis. They can't suppress us in our father's land. Fulanis can't stop our fathers and mothers from going to their farms. But I am back with the power of God and authority, not that of man. Igbo, who is a prominent figure in the agitation for the Yoruba nation, escaped from a deadly night raid on his Ibadan residence by the operatives of the Department of State Service on July 1st, 2021. He was later arrested in Benin Republic on his way to Germany on July 19th, together with his wife, Ropo. He was released in October 2023 after a prolonged legal battle. The freedom fighter returned to Nigeria on Thursday ahead of his mother's barrier in the Saki area of your state. He was welcomed by the large crowd of supporters who chanted his name and praised his courage. So guys, what's your take on this? I beg, make we hear from you. I want to see this matter. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.